Right, 9C, um, still working with this curve, y equals 3 times 12, 12x. And now it's been translated, um, and they've given us the vector, and they've given us some information about it. So we want to find out how much it's been translated by in the y direction. So the first thing we're going to do is apply this transformation. So if we're translating by vector, what happens is we take the value in the y direction away from y, and we take the value in the x direction away from x. So y minus p is 3 times 12 x and negative 1. x, x minus 1. It then says it gives the curve y equals f of x, so we just rearrange that to y. So y is 3 times 12 x to the power of minus 12 to the power of x minus 1 plus p. You can go straight to that step if you're confident. Now they tell us that this curve passes through the origin. So I'll use this piece of information to go along. We need to use the fact it goes to the origin. That means that y is 0 when x is 0. There we go. y is 0 when x is 0. So 0, now you can either evaluate 3 times 12 to the power of negative 1 in your calculator, or you realise that's 3 over 12, which is a quarter, plus p. So p is negative a quarter. Okay. So the last bit, remember this is the last question on the paper, so it probably is going to be quite tricky. Uh, you have to draw all your skills together, um, your knowledge of logs, intersection of curves, to solve this question. Let's see what it says. It starts out by saying we've got two curves and they intersect. Okay, they both say y equals, so where they intersect, the two, they must both intersect at the same y point. So y equals y. Make them equal to each other. Um, this is useful because we're going to do the x coordinate of t. So now we've got an equation with no y's in it, we've only got x's. And it's another show that it can be written in a form which looks nothing like what we've got at the moment. And they want us to find out what q is. Well, let's have a look. What they've got is they've got log to the base 2. So our first step would be to take log to the base 2. So log to base 2, 2, 2 minus x is log to base 2, 3 times 12 power of x. Do the same to both sides. Um, we can now, on the left hand side, 2 minus x to move in front. Log to base 2, 3 times 12 power of x. And log to base 2, 2 is 1, so that's going to go. Now, if you're confident at rewriting with logs, I've done that like that because you can go straight to this step that I'm writing down now. You don't have to write those steps if you're confident with rewriting the equation. Okay, so now we've got a 2 minus x. That's good on the left-hand side. Um, we're still not looking the form we want. So on the right-hand side, we've got a log and it's got a multiplier in the middle which means we can write that as log to base 2, 3, plus log to base 2, 12 to the power of x. Okay. Now, that means, let's leave this size as it is for now, log to base 2, 3, we can move the x by lots of logs into the front of this group. Now, neither log to base 2, 3 nor log to base 2, 12 are nice numbers, so I'm going to leave those as logs for now. Well, the whole question was to find the x coordinate. So we want to find x. And at the moment, I've got x on both sides of my equation. So let's put them all on the same side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract log to base 2, 3. So we end up with just that on the left-hand side. And I'm going to add x, which means I'm going to end up with x plus x log to base 2, 12 on the right hand side. Okay. Now if you look at where we're going, this has already shown we've got 2 minus log to base 2, 3. 
that is the top of the fraction that we want. So we're going in the right direction. Okay, so let's leave that as it is. Okay, nice little trick here, because we've got an x, we've got two x's in the equation, we only want one. So if we factorise, we can end up with x plus on the outside, so we've only got one x in the equation. And that's times 1 plus log squared c12. Oh, we're very nearly there. So x is 2 minus log to the base 2, 3, divided by 1 plus log to the base 2, 12. And you'd think after all that work, that would be the answer. But we have a look and we see, although the top line is the same, we haven't quite got the bottom line the same yet. We've got a log to base 2, 12, and they want a log to base 2, 3. So what could we do with this to get a log to base 2, 3? Well, 12 is 3 times 4. So let's see if that can help us. So 2 minus log to base 2, 3, then 1 plus log to base 2. Let's write that, 12, as 3 times 4, so 4 times 3. Now we can use our log rules to split that up, because I've got a multiply. So that's log to base 2, 4, plus log to base 2, 3. And now I've got my log to base 2, 3, but I've also got a log to base 2, 4. Now, the nice bit is that log to base 2, 4 is 2, 2 squared is 4, so that means x is 2 minus log to base 2, 3, 1 plus 2 is 3, plus log to base 2, 3. Let's have a look. Same format we were asked for, and the question said, state the value of q, q's this number here, so rq is q 